I'd never been deployed, I'd never been to Africa, and the uh, cyclone hit, and you know, I was picked to go on the Zimbabwe team. I had no idea what I was up to, and so in we fly into Zimbabwe, and then we have to make our way down to Shimani Mani, which was the area that had got hit. The cyclone had done a weird, uncharacteristic thing, is it had done most of the work around Mozambique, then it went out to sea, came back and went way inland, and just pummeled the uh, area around Shimani Mani, which is the beautiful resort and hiking area uh, where people go in Zimbabwe. It was just a beautiful area. So to get there, all the roads and the rivers and everything had been washed out. They had had what were little creeks were now 100 foot wide and 25 foot deep canals that had washed through. They had said they got equivalent of about 10 feet of rain in a short period of time. It was something that you couldn't comprehend. But to get in there, they had to cut a road. So we went up and over the mountain and down in these old uh, jeeps and bouncy roads. And it was quite the adventure up and over and past washout, so we come down into Chimani Mani, and uh, those of you who are around areas in the summer would have ski hills. If you picture uh, the Rentions is a great one around St. Agath, you look up on the hills and you see trees, and you see green line, green line, green line. It looked exactly the same as that, except it was red line, red line, red line. Sadly, the red lines were big rock and boulders that had come down from the top of the mountain and taken swaths of 100, 150 yards, and these swaths would be, there'd be a swath, and then there'd be 40 houses, then another swath, and then 40 houses. And it was, there was nothing except you could see things like uh, household stuff. Uh, for some reason, mattresses seems to have bounced to the top. So there'd be these just mattresses and nothing else down in these. So that was, it was just uh, an amazing experience. And then we, we pumped water. Uh, we were able to purify water to help the people. But it was my, also my first experience of what deforestation does. It was fascinating. And, and to end that up, we actually went over to help our other uh, deployment team in Mozambique. So I also had the interesting travel of by land uh, between the countries across the border. So I would say that was a fascinating experience. And for my very first deployment, a real eye-opener of, well, I had wanted to do this and I got to do it.